What is going on? Here with Nate Wait, and thank you for tuning in. So I want to show you guys this new plugin that's out by BX or Brainworks, um, and it's actually a mastering plugin. So it's called Master Desk. So um, you can currently download this if you've got a Plugin Alliance um, account, so that you can go on there and download it, have a 13-day trial, and check it out for yourself. See what it sounds like on your mix, and uh, work from there. But um, what mastering, as far as mastering is concerned, I think sometimes people overlook um, how simplified it could be and they complicate things and make it out like it's some kind of mystery thing to do um, there are definitely some technical things in mastering that you'd want to be concerned about um, but again at the same token uh, just like mixing you want to master things to sound good not to be technical uh, so this plugin is very simple in the sense it has minimal sort of dials on it it really does kind of simplify things if you're not um, a professional mastering engineer and you don't understand how to get certain frequencies frequencies and stuff like that to sit right I'm not to say that you know you can strap this on there and make something sound magical it doesn't work like that you have to have a good mix in the first place to be able to use this but um, in any sense let's go and see what it sounds like and work with it so first off I just want to show you I'm wearing headphones as well because I want to really relay this back to you in the sense of um, what you might hear on a pair of headphones or um, things like that because mainly most people listen on headphones so we've got the section here for tone so this is basically if you look at it like an EQ um, you've got the bass frequencies, you've got mids and treble, and then we've got presence here, which adds um, characteristics like an exciter in that sense, um, adds characteristics to uh, different frequencies, mainly the top end. Um, then you've got this section here, which is mid side, uh, which allows you to adjust the, the mono section so you can make your low end into mono. Um, which I'll go into in just uh, a little bit further in other videos. But uh, this basically just lets you make anything from below 98 to mono, or it starts to make that into a mono frequency so that it sits right on a subwoofer or the low end frequencies are really sitting right in general. Um, then you've got this stereo enhancing, which brings out the, you know, the width of the track. This enhances a stereo image. And you've got this foundation dial here, which increases from what I can tell, it increases the... I guess more of the tops or versus the lows and it just makes the foundation of the track sound a little bit different sort of moving the the EQ curve on the mix and then you've got a volume increase which obviously decrease or increase however you want this compression mix uh, this is really handy because the more you mess with it the more you'll become accustomed to the sound that you're listening to so it allows you to kind of adjust the compression mix inside of that um, you've got these different here four different compression modes which i really enjoy they all sound different they have a different kind of sound to the way they act on the mix um, i found three suited this track the most the most but i'll go through all of these inside of the mixer so you can have a listen to it um, you've got this total harmonic distortion which is basically off of the desk the mastering desk they would have emulated this idea off um, it, total harmonic distortion is basically the distortion characteristics of the analog or you know, electronic gear that's on that desk. So you can obviously increase it or decrease it, adds additional color or warmth, I should say, to the track. Then you've got the trim, which obviously you can reduce the output volume so that you're level matching. It helps you do that. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet if this is an automatic level match or if you can do that on this plugin. I haven't found a way to do it yet, so I just had to manually adjust it. But maybe that's something they can bring onto this plugin. Just have like an automatic uh, gain button you can just press and then auto gain everything from there uh, then you've got this uh, compressor link which up here l and t so compressor link just links the stereo field so you get the linked stereo field there and then you've got limited turbo which allows the turbo limiter i don't know how that really works yet either but um, i'm sure it, it works quite well because it sounded good when i hit it on there uh, the manual obviously goes into details i haven't read that too far yet i just wanted to demo this quickly and see what it sounded like so here we go with the resonant filters as well just briefly it's got this auto solo button which is super useful if you want to hear the resonance of this 160 and 315 or you can turn it off uh, the same with 3150 and uh, 6666 <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway so let's have a listen to it because that's what you're here for so let's get into that um, and uh, we'll see what that sounds like on the actual song that I've got so let me play this from scratch I'll play it from the start and then you can hear what it sounds like without it and then I'll add this plug in on here and we'll see what it does to the mix just pay attention to the low and all the mids and the highs and stuff like that because that's what I've got going on here let's go
So it's a really neat sounding plugin. Um, when you're listening to it, though, it you have to think of it in the scheme of mastering, and mastering isn't where you're doing drastic moves and trying to you know bust out a whole lot of low end or increase top end and stuff like that. You're really listening to the nuances of a track when you're mastering, and that's what I think this plugin. If you're tuned to listening to what frequencies you want to have sit in the mix or sit right in the mix, or if you want to increase presence or increase low end or increase the um, the compression on the track. Um, this really allows you to really hone in on what sounds good on that track and work with it. Um, so when this comes out, obviously, whatever the price tag is, I don't know what that is yet, but um, I think this is a fantastic plugin to get that finalization on a track. You know, you have to do everything right before you get to this stage, though, because, you know, if you're getting a bad mix and chucking it into this and expecting to get good out of it, it's not going to work like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I wish it did because um, <laughs> I wouldn't have to spend so much time mixing my tracks and then mastering them later on. Um, but if you want to get a master that sounds uh, rich and full and really connected, um, this plugin definitely will offer you something in that perspective. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and uh, make sure you hit the bell notification as well. And uh, make sure you just hang around for all the other videos that do come up because I'm going to share lots of good stuff as per usual. So catch you on the next one. Peace out.